Hey guys, we're back again, and this is another viewer request. Uh, you guys have been asking for a lot of stuff, and this one comes from Mrs. Creative 47. She wants to, uh, she asked if you can make the cupcake that you always see on Pinterest. And there's a couple cupcakes out here. I'm choosing the one that everybody probably wants to do. It's a little bit more difficult. If you've never done balloon decor before, this one might not be the first one that you might want to choose, but hey, if you follow directions, you should be able to do this fine. Okay, uh, we're gonna need 11 inch balloons and we're gonna be using five inch balloons. Uh, you can choose any colors you like. I'm using pink for the bottom, for the, the, the bottom portion of the cupcake, and then I believe I'm gonna use like some ivy for the top, and then we're gonna be using a red balloon for the cherry on top of the cupcake. So, it consists of seven layers, okay, and the way we're gonna create the layers is by using something called monofilament, which is fishing line, um, and then we're also gonna be uh, connecting it together with either the 260s or with mono or ribbon. But just follow along and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get started. I said seven layers. The first layer, I'm going to put everything in the links, in the, sorry, in the description area below. I'll show you the recipe on how many balloons you need and the sizes. You're going to need a balloon sizer for this job. All right, I show you how to make a simple balloon sizer. That will do. Um, or you could uh, use your professional balloon sizers. There's a whole bunch out there. I'll put links in the description area where you can buy them. Uh, but these, these, these balloons need to be sized correctly or the shape will not take form the way you want it, okay? So, we're going to take, uh, your first balloon is going to be, well, you're going to make duplets, okay? And this is right now is a three and a half inch balloon, well, a balloon sized to three and a half inches, tied to a five inch balloon, okay? We're going to take those duplets and then you're also going to need uh, this one here, which is a six inch size balloon, measured to um, a, sorry, to a three inch size balloon. So three inch and a six inch get tied together, as well as a three and a half and a five inch. All right, so we're gonna take our monofilament and we just tied it right in between the two balloons. And what you're gonna do here is, we're gonna start adding the balloons and you're gonna take one duplet and you're gonna put the other duplet on an angle this way, and you're going to wrap that nylon around it one time, okay? And you just squeeze that together, and it looks something like that, okay? Now, if you look, the big one's this way, and then the small one's, is, is, is the big one's facing this way, the small one's facing that way. All right, now we're going to come back with the three and a half inch facing this way, all right? So I'll show you what I mean. You just go ahead and face it that way and wrap it around one time. Pull on it, make sure it's snug. And if you see, it's one's going this way, that way, this way, and then now I'm going to go ahead and do a smaller one. So I got three and a half, three inch, three and a half, and now I'm going to go three inch facing this way now. Okay? So let's go get a three inch. And when I mean three inch, I mean a three inch tied with the six inch balloon. Okay? So let's go back on another angle that way. And when you're doing this, you can't. A lot of times you make arches, you tie them from chair to chair and you make a line. This does not do that. The reason why we're not using a straight line is the balloons are going to start curving as you're attaching them and it's going to form its own circle and that's what's going to give the cupcake a circular shape. So, I went that way. Now, again, I'm going to start with the, the bigger bits, the three, the three and a half inch with the five inch and I'm going to wrap that around facing that way. See, it's already starting to make a little arc. I don't know if you notice that. It's going to automatically do that. Just make sure they're snug, and you're going to do that 11 times. So you're going to be making 11 duplets for this, and all the layers are going to have 11 duplets in it. So you're going to need 11 of each size balloon. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this set of 11 for the first layer, and then I'll show you the second layer. All right. Thanks. Okay. Uh, before I go to the next layer, I just wanted to show you how you finish the first one. As you see, I was just as I add them, they're starting to create the circular shape. I'm not doing that. It's automatically doing that. I'm not actually forcing the shape. And I'm going to show you how I add the last two here. Um, let's see if I can get framed better for you guys. So the last one I put on was over here. It was a, 
it was the the bigger one here. So uh, it was the three and a half um, and the and the five inch, uh, which is actually under here, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a small one so you can see. I'm just gonna uh, right now I went it went this way, so now I have to actually go on an angle this way. It's kind of so I'm gonna wrap it around and then I'm gonna push it sideways in here and pull that through. It's hard to do it because I'm trying to show you guys. But as I start putting that through, you'll see right there, it's automatically going to go ahead and start the curvature shape. I'm going to do my last one here, which is going to be back this way. So I'll wrap that in up. And push that in. And then you can sometimes do an adjustment here because I can't really see what's going on. Oh, right there. And that's it. There's your, there's your circle. All right. And you have it like that. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and you would just add those together, push them together, and you have your circle. All right. So we got our first circle done. Or first layer, if you want to see. It's a little messed up here. You just got to go ahead and I'm gonna go, we'll adjust that later. But uh, basically, you see the idea. Um, if, you, if you got a little lost, you're a little confused, I'm just going to show you it again. Uh, and then this time we're going to be doing the next layer, which is going to be four and a half inch size balloon with an eight inch balloon. That's going to be the one duplet, 11 of those. And then you're going to need 11 of the five inch size uh, balloon and a seven and a half inch balloon. Okay, we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to take our monofilament and tie it in between the first duplet and take our eight inch, four and a half inch balloon, and all we're going to do is take that monofilament and wrap it around and then push it in, okay? So now you actually have one duplet facing this way and one duplet facing that way. And then we're just going to keep adding on duplets this way, that way, this way, that way, left, right, left, right, left, right, until the end. Once you get about four or five of these on, you'll see the circle form shaping. And don't try to make it straight. Just let the balloons make the shape. So, I got the small one, I just had the, the, the three, uh, four and a half inch on the top, now I'm going to add my five inch top with my seven and a half inch. Same exact way. So this one went that way, so I have to go this way. Wrap that around, and straighten it. It's a little tricky. There you go, and then now I'm going to go back with my smaller top balloon, and that's going to go this way. And you're just going to make sure when you're tightening that, that you know, the, the bigger balloon, the five inches are going to touch the five inch, the four and a half are touching the four, four inch, and even if you turn it around, you can see the same pattern forming there. So, I just went, which way I went that way, now I'm going to go this way with my bigger balloon. Uh, the bigger top, uh, the bigger of the smaller balloons, it's going to go this way. Tricky. Uh, See, so yeah, I, even, I even got uh, confused right there. See, so it's going to go that way. Okay, bring that down. And then I'll go ahead and add my other balloon and I'll straighten that out. Color. Now this color is going to be the 
the color of your topper. So the top part is going to be this color. It could be white, it could be pink, depending on what you want. But for this one, I'm going to have the bottom is going to be pink, and then we're doing uh, ivory for the top. So you'll need a 8 inch for your bottom and 4 and a half inch for your top. And then uh, your other one here is going to be uh, 5 inches and 7 and a half. Okay. So, like I said, same way, we're just going to go back and forth. So, I just put on a 5 inch for the 7.5. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add my dual color, which is 4.5 and 8. Cupcake. I'll show you a picture after we tie it together. But uh, 
let me know if there's any questions on this. If you're having a hard time doing something, this is not an easy piece to make. But uh, show me your pictures. Hey, if you make a couple of these, post them down below. Let me know how you feel. And then check out my Facebook page. Uh, it's the the amazing balloon guy. Facebook.com slash the amazing balloon guy. Like me, follow me, and uh, I'll see you next